In our humanity, we are capable of both good and evil. And I constantly question myself, why did I behave like that? Or why am I feeling this negative emotion? I mean, the disciples went from performing miracles to cutting a man's ear off and betraying Jesus. If we look at the human condition, it can become quite depressing. Paul put it well in Romans 7. He says, I'm a mystery to myself, for I want to do what is right, but end up doing what my moral instincts condemn. Now I realise that it is no longer my true self doing it, but the unwelcomed intruder of sin in my humanity. For I know that nothing good lives within the flesh of my fallen humanity. The longings to do what is right are within me, but willpower is not enough to accomplish it. My lofty desires to do what is good are dashed when I do the things I want to avoid. So if my behaviour contradicts my desires to do good, I must conclude that it's not my true identity doing it, but the unwelcomed intruder of sin hindering me from being who I really am. He continues, I discovered that even when I want to do good, evil is ready to sabotage me. Truly deep within my true identity, I love to do what pleases God, but I discern another power operating in my humanity, waging a war against the moral principles of my conscience and bringing me into captivity as a prisoner to the law of sin. This unwelcome intruder in my humanity, what an agonising situation I am in. So who has the power to rescue this miserable man from the unwelcomed intruder of sin and death? I give all my thanks to God for his mighty power has finally provided a way out through the, our Lord Jesus, the anointed one. So if left to myself, the flesh is aligned with the law of sin. But now my, my, my renewed mind is fixed on and submitted to God's righteous principles. Wow. The struggle with sin is real. But freedom from this is found in Christ, living in him, through him, fixing our minds on him and his word and remaining grafted into him.